Crew comments. Once we know where Becker is, how can I get to her? There is another tram through the crew quarters. Once we know where you're going, we'll move forward from there. More trams. God forgive us God forgive and us. smile. Yeah, why don't you read the smile one? Mountain images. A long landscape of a serene mountainscape intended to provide a sense of calm and perspective. And this is... Fuck me, that scared me a little. This is a big ass door. <laughs> a dead body? A body lies slumped against the entrance bulkhead. With its head hanging forward, it's almost possible to imagine him having a nap during a long shift. I wish I could do something. Something <laughs> Sleeping while on the job. Dr. Rick Rain, why would you do that? So it's the same time frame as the other logs, September to December. September twenty September twenty seventh. Getting sick of this bumps and scraps bullshit. I didn't get this degree just so that I could stitch idiots up when they accidentally stabbed themselves with a pen. I want to do fun experiments. Is that too much to ask? It's not like I want to be a mad scientist and see new arms onto. Sue new arms onto people or anything. Although human spiders would be cool. You're sick. December 7th. It's a miracle. Security somehow ended up passing a container from one of the cloning vats onto me. It's labeled Samantha. You understand it's to be transferred to lab 18, right? Oh well. No reason I can't. Observe it for a while, right? I'll have my loyal assistant Miriam make up some good excuses for me. This creature is marvelous. The notes included don't say much, but I'm pretty sure that she didn't have a fully formed spine when they packaged this girl up. It describes her as being just a tail. There are some other bones as well, but it didn't major in monster anatomy. <laughs> I wish I heard though. You can't make this shit up. <laughs> Seeing as this is a game that's made up, that's kind of funny. This fucker grew eyes. I mean it. She did not have these the last time I checked. They're rudimentary, sure, but they just grew. They follow me around. At this point, I'm going to take credit for Samantha entirely. I mean, they can't prove that there was anything more than some stem cells in that container the last time they saw it, right? From now on, Samantha is mine. I can't wait to see what she turns into. Lab 18 is definitely getting suspicious and impatient. I'm running out of excuses for why I haven't transferred Samantha yet. I need Miriam to stall a bit longer. I read her PDA, so I know she wants to turn me in. She wants my job. Fortunately, I have video of her screwing the guys from the lab. All of them. So there's my job security. <laughs> oh god, how can these people be so fucked up? This just got serious. The tremors knocked me over the counter and I twisted a muscle in my knee. Ouch. It's going to be a long lockdown spent bandaging people up without any access to the full medical wing. So my advice isn't mine anymore. Some other poor fool can take resp responsibility for this one. What? I heard shrill screams coming from the entertainment area. The first and last time I performed surgery, the patient woke up and started screaming her head off. Something about seeing your own exposed ribs really bothers people. Anyway, these screams were like that, only more intense. They're the screams of the dying. I've locked the emergency bulkhead, no sign of Miriam. And then you died here? That's kinda weird. It's always funny when you find locks that say, Oh my god, the monster is coming, I'm going to die. As if these people would write them in the moments, um, of the in the last moments, yeah, it, it makes no sense. But even more funny if they are not logs but handwritten or stuff. So this is the iron lung. Okay, the cylindrical hyperbaric chamber has welded shut, creating a metal tomb for anyone inside. Can we take a look at it? Where are you going, John? John, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a viewing portal here. Okay. So go all the way around again. To take a look inside at Samantha. Hello? I'm not sure what this is. Oh. Holy fuck. To be honest, I didn't look at the at the um window. I looked up at what he said, so can we do this again? Maybe? I missed it. I'm sorry. My imagination's playing tricks on me. No, it's definitely in there, believe me. Okay. 
Let's read the PDA, which I think is Samantha. Uh, no, not not Samantha. What was her name? Miriam. Miriam Goldberg. That's a weird name. Dr. Graham is up to no good. Dr. Graham is up to no good. This weird pot accidentally arrived at our medical bay. It holds the most terrifying creature I've ever seen in my entire life. And he says it's beautiful? He wants me to find excuses for why it isn't being transferred to lab 18. Good thing the guys there like me. I'll help him keep, at, keep it a secret for now. Although I might get his job if I could get him kicked off the groom leg. I'll keep an eye on what he's up to. Interesting. This thing is cro growing all sorts of body parts at ungodly rates. The notes say it was just a tail and some flesh at some point, but I don't even see the tail anymore. What kind of fucked up experiments are we doing? Fuck, I'm locked out of the medical bay and Dr. Graham has locked himself in there with that thing. We need to help these injured people. Insufferable prick. You want to use the specimen transport track to get the injured crew members to the medical wing. Even if the ship wasn't falling apart, that's a terrible idea. It's funny to see everyone frantically typing away on their PDAs. Who's gonna read it? The surface of whatever planet's gravitational pull the life does Groom Lake, gro uh, Groom Lake gets sucked into doesn't care about your damn feelings. I just read your PDA entry and it's kind of um, ironic, right? Writing about other people using the PDA while writing your PDA, but <laughs> it's basically what I said before, right? Uh, so DNA scanner. Frosted glass window. Congealed blood runs down the frosted glass wall. DNA scanner. I think this is it. I have to use the syringe, right? You need to get your blood sample onto the receiving tray. And uh, I'll do the rest. Why can you do everything by remote? In what fucking position are you? What are you working as? I can't see it working like Wait, that. Wait, what? Do I have to use it on me, maybe? Yeah, okay. Okay, a full hypodermic syringe. DNA scanner. Nice. Okay, it's working. Thank God it's so easy. This is good, John. This is excellent. Why are you getting so excited about this? What Wait, the fuck? Did you see this? It was big. Um. Okay, do we just have to leave now? Seriously, what are we supposed to do now? Oh, I guess I have to use this window to see what it was. Sure. What? What? Sure you don't. You have to believe me. Yeah, I do. Maybe it's one of the fucking things that ate Yuri. I grow plants. I don't care for man's pets. Just... Just let me know when the scan's finished. Secondary containment is now accessible. Head through to the other tram station. Okay, so let's recap. John has seen all sorts of crazy fucking things, yet he's still bothered by these... Um, animal-like... types? John, you should know by now what happens on here. Serotonin levels are abnormal. The constant flickering of its lights does not add to your confidence in this elevator. <laughs> Entertainment block door. The scuffing on the floor in front of this door indicates that it has seen frequent use. Oh, okay. What about this tram station B? 
And that's the mass hall. There's a security panel over here. Um, remember, we still have to use the security thing in the in the security office. The, the door. Door locked due to atmosphere control override. Okay. How do you leave? Um. How do you leave? Uh oh, override lock and open door. John, wait, there's a highly corrosive gas on the other side of that oh, door. Oh shit. shit. I've already cycled the lock. John! Atmosphere compromised. <laughs> Death is in. Why would she only tell me? And this is. <laughs> You're supposed to get through there, right? <laughs> so this is an. Kinda unavoidable death if you don't know what, what will happen? Well, fuck you, game. <laughs> okay, we didn't miss much. Or rather, we don't have to do... Redo much. Warning. Serotonin levels are abnormal. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. She doesn't tell me. That's kind of weird. I mean... <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> the sound effect just for the lights to you know. Incredible. Um... What? At the thickest sections of tangled growth, barbous knots form a shape eerily close to that of a human body. As you listen, you can hear the rasp of labored breathing. Torn up floor grating. Flaps of industrial grating have been pushed upward from below, rumpled like a discarded mammal. The guts of the level below lie exposed. A profusion of gnarled growth has spread through the sleeping block like roots, covering every surface in the same manner as a choking vine. Um, okay, let's read the PDA. Man, this is a lot of reading today. Isabella Spaulding. Oh, April 12th, that's new. Another long day in hydroponics. I planted carrots today. This place seriously sucks, but I figured the longer I work for Cane Corp, the sooner they'll be able to replace this defective uterus of mine. Oh. Harry is protective, and not in a cute way. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable. His attempts to protect my honor, his words, whenever Grant even looks at me, are, unner are unnervingly familiar. Just like my ex-husband used to do. I'm not ready for another round of the bullshit. Half of the ship has been on lockdown for two long weeks. Apparently some new scientists spotted today, so maybe they'll be able to resolve the issue. But what do I know? I make vegetables reproduce for a living. I have to admit, Harry's whole stock of him can be great sometimes. He's growing herbs for me so that I can make tea. With all of this new security bullshit, I wouldn't dare use company resources personally like that. I've been pretending to like Grant just a little bit. I don't, but it keeps Harry on his toes. Oh my god, you bitch. Harry opted to stay on the Groom Lake for another round. He was eligible to leave at the shift change, but he chose to stay. Gee, I wonder why he'd do that. He's a grown man, for goodness sake, but he's acting like a lovesick teen. He needs to stop fucking calling me Belle, though. It's Isabella, like the Queen of Spain. I keep hearing chatter about a fungal growth spreading all over the Groom Lake. Let's hope it doesn't get here to hydroponics. I'd be devastated if anything happened to my precious salary. <laughs> Spoke way too soon. I came into Hydro today to find everything coated in the strange fungus. Harry actually had a pretty good idea. What if we fought the fungus with genetically enhanced super mushrooms? What? Laundry day? I can't read this. Nope, crossbreeding mushrooms did not improve things. Hopefully the emergency rations will get here soon. Unless people want to eat the portobellas from hell, that is. This shit is about to get dangerous. People have been beaten up. What? Some are even dead. We've seen a lockdown before, but it wasn't a mass panic like this. Will it be over soon or ever? Harry told me to stay in the sleeping block because it could be dangerous outside. 
You know, I've taken care of myself for 28 years without help from Harry. I think I can handle myself. I'm dead! <laughs> I'm not going to spend the final days of my life playing the helpless female and I'm not going to cling to Harry even if he's the last human being I'll ever see. He can't expect anything from me. Wait, so he didn't even give him a last lay or something? I mean, you could have enjoyed it as well. If I knew I would die, I don't know what I would do, but... I guess I would fight, but at the same time I would try to enjoy my last... I mean, just imagine, you know you're locked in and you only have, let's say, two days left to live. What would you do? That's kind of crazy thinking about it like that. Not that I'm saying that you should turn into a bitch or something and fuck around because fucking is the be all and all but you should enjoy yourself and whatever it is that makes you enjoy yourself do it. If you like drinking alcohol to cope do it. If you like to write down your thoughts because it makes you feel better about the situation fucking do it. If you like to fuck Again, fucking do it. <laughs> March 19th, I couldn't even be bothered to get out of bed today. Nobody came asking questions though, so that works. Sometimes when I first wake up, I wait as long as possible to say my first word of the day. Then that word serves as a prediction of how shitty that day is going to be. Naturally, Isabella woke me up by asking if I'd rather fuck Grant or Harry. I thought she was supposed to be some kind of feminist who doesn't need a man. <laughs> Hypocrite. To answer the question, I'd need to do a bit of research. Harry will suffice for that. I guess I'm obligated to write about a ship lockdown since it's all life threatening or something. I don't know why we even carry these PDAs. Seriously, I will never go back and read this shit. Um, just imagine you're getting these PDAs by your employer and they are secretly spying on you by reading your PDA. This could work, right? Imagine Apple reading everything you write on an iPhone and nobody knows. That's kind of dystopian. The groom lake got a 300% funding increase and I have a feeling we're doing some more shady bullshit with it. Welcome aboard the groom lake, where as far as the universe is concerned, you don't exist. And as far as the board is concerned, you don't exist. Nothing actually exists. Humanity is gonna flip shit when they finally figure that out. So Grant's gay. I knew I had seen him checking Harry out, lips are sealed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's going to be a long, painful death if we don't get those rations soon. I might have to start murdering and eating my blockmates. I start with Grant because he's got the most meat on him. Harry is last because I'm in no hurry to put my mouth on that ag again. <laughs> hey, someone's making some booze. Humanity has truly reached the apex of engineering. Space moonshine. It brings a smile to my eye and a tear to my heart. Get me some. Man, Shelby is kinda cool. Taste, 0 out of 10. Effectiveness, 10 out of 10. This stuff has to be at least 120 proof. Had to do something I totally don't regret to get it, and it was worth it. Okay. <laughs> Liquor supply is running low, food supply is high, I'm disappointed. Here I was thinking I'd be enjoying moonshine marinated lack of grant this evening. Disappointing? At least I didn't starve. Oh god, she's kinda crazy. On the one hand, something exciting happened. On the other hand, we're probably going to die or something. I have no regrets. Not even that thing I did to get the moonshine. <laughs> I've been thinking about it over the last couple of days and I sincerely can't think of anything I regret. Not hooking up with Harry. Not pursuing music instead of physics. Nothing. It was all part of what made my life mine. Life carries on no matter what. So I guess it's best to just be satisfied with what little I did accomplish. The universe swallows you atom by atom eventually. You know, I'm proud of how far those atoms have made it when it when they first got together to form Shelby Isaacson to where they are now. Hmm. Okay. I mean she was kind of crazy but also kind of relatable. So all right. Nothing in here other than that. Maybe I have to get down there later. Oh I can get down there apparently. Um just for just for safety. That's safe. I mean, this circle means I can down, can get down, right? Yeah. Okay. That is a long way down. Okay, we better not then, I guess. I mean, no, no, no. I saved. Let's try. No, John. Okay, you don't want to. Okay. I 
guess I'll check out this room then. Maybe it's another sleeping quarter. Maybe for the man. Yeah. Mother oh. had a lung that was covered Hello? in fat. Father had a tongue that was also black. Is anyone there? They didn't care for us. We didn't care for them. And so it happened again and again. Skin like a crocodile and eyes like sin. The RG consumed them from then. Stop reciting creepy children rhymes, creepy kid. Another gruesome victim of the indiscriminate slaughter. This one has a strangely, strangely wistful look on his face, as if it were imagining an escape into a cheery landscape on the walls. What? This corpse has been savaged. Its leg is nothing more than tendon strap bone. Oh my god. Maybe a PDA. Oh, bastard. Looks like he didn't even manage to get out of his bunk. Yeah. It's Grant, the gay, the gay guy, I guess. Um, you know what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. <laughs> the shit I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean it. My job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my co co-worker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish? <laughs> Isabella's been talking to me. I hope she doesn't have any ideas. I'm really not into that. Even if she was a guy, she's just so difficult to deal with. I think she purposefully leaves some shadow of a doubt that she might have some feelings for Harry, just so that he'll hang around. The poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy, but it's also the teeniest bit sweet. I think Jupiter is finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. He thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Really, I don't. I like the name Jupiter. Um, she gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. I love that little kitten. Big kitten. Isabella smacked Harry straight across her face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I would have been flattered. Poor guy. Everything is so un uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing? I've been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so, but I want to make sure. It would help me sleep a little better. Oh, why? <laughs> Guess it's empathy or something. Into the departmental pool to win 64 days of leave. What a joke. Kitchen security and maintenance aren't even eligible when they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh wait, I guess that makes sense. This fungus shit is everywhere. It's already in the methane collection plant. Shall be such a cow. She says she hopes it gives me cancer. <laughs> but that way I could start over with new organs courtesy of Cane Corp, of course. I told her that there was only one organ I really wanted, but that Harry was too busy following Isabella. Oh. Shabby said, oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. But I'm not a girl. Could have been worse. I just hope she can keep a secret. I don't want everyone involved in my business. Oh, so this was a kind of a love triangle? Like, like in my Japanese cartoons. This mushroom plant that hydroponics came up with is not working. If anything, it's made life in the plant just a little more grueling. People have been complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear it's not a plant. I can smell it too. Emergency rations. I snack some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I noticed just today that Harry was the most adorable, has the most adorable way of stuffing his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite, then shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, oh, the simple things. Powers out in places around the ship. Hopefully the plant isn't next. The sure wouldn't end well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the tremors. I can only make assumptions. Oh god, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all of this either. He's such a little guy. I've been following Isabella around to get close to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he could ever care about me. Those guys who went to work on Station B haven't come back yet. I've been trying to sleep as much as I can now so I can stay on my toes when everything goes to hell. I've cried a little as well, partly because of Jupiter and partly for reasons I don't understand. You know you'll die. I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. I know it will just confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here, but Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know, will I ever have another chance to open my heart to someone? I'll have to hope so, I just can't tell Harry. No, oh, that's sad. That's really fucking sad. Let's read what Harry thought about all this shit. Hello? I'll never get used to this. Oh, you will, believe me. Harry Walden, oh my god, that's, that's a lot of logs, Harry. Belle says she's fine, but I'm going to keep an eye on her. 
I had a nightmare that Belle killed herself, so I checked on her just to be sure. I hope I didn't wake her. Grant wouldn't have checked on her. That dick doesn't know how to care for a lady. Not a lady like Belle. I sure hope nobody catches me growing these herbs. Space is so empty and cold and Belle seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught, but if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. Belle seems super frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong because she got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angry every time I speak to her. She's upset I can't do anything and I can't do anything about it. She spoke to me today. I'm so glad everything is okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. If she only knew she'd feel so special. Grant keeps bringing his goddamn cat into the sleeping block. I'm allergic and he knows it. I shouldn't need a shot of, of epinephrine every time I go to bed. He thinks he's a badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. <laughs> Belle think, probably thinks he's so cool. Why can't you see that he's a total dick? He's gay and he's want, he wants your dick. Harry. Jesus Christ. I decided to stay on the groom lake so that I can be with Belle. I don't like it here, here but I love her. Oh God, I need to stop recording. I can't read anymore. <laughs> Some guy in engineering says that there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I better could hijack a lifeboat to fly Belle home. <laughs> God, this guy's crazy. The fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out the alien one? I honestly don't think it will work. I suggested it as a joke first, but Bell thought. I'm sorry, would you mind? I'm currently reading here. <laughs> Bell thought it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. Grant's been following Bell and I everywhere. I know she thinks he can keep her safe, but I know he can't. He's so full of himself. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good fucking riddance. The guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe now Belle will understand that he's not fit to protect her. I think I'd die for Belle. It's pretty much been established that something's running around and killing people. I'm going to fight it when I see it. It'll only get to Belle over my dead body. She'll die knowing that I gave my life just to take a couple of seconds onto hers. That's real obsession, right? I mean, I love my girlfriend and I think I would protect her and die for her but I gave my life just to take a couple of seconds onto hers is kind of crazy right it's not love anymore when you think like that oh god it's kind of depressing being in here